Okay, let's now go through the pineapple tag a little more. As I have told you before, the pineapple tag gives you an inline Python code writer and editor and executor in your browser. Something that we have seen lately in using our Jupyter notebooks, you can actually create the same thing right over here with a very small code. The only code that you have to write is currently highlighted on your screen. Uh, there is a standard way of writing the pineapple tag. There is always an ID, auto generate is true and just close the pineapple. And that's it and that has to go in the head section of your HTML along with the JS and CSS that are mandatory to run the PyScript. We do not need any PyScript tag over here because all we are going to do is use the pineapple tag. So let's not waste more time. Let's go ahead and open with live server. And what you will see is your HTML has fired up in your browser and you see an input box kind of place which will not just take input but will execute those Python codes. Like for example, if I over here want to print hello world, I can do that very simple. Now you have two options. If you press enter, it will go to the next line. So do not press enter. You either press shift enter or you use the green button. Let me use the green play button over here and your output is ready. Let's print 2 plus 3. If you press enter, nothing is going to happen. So I'm going to press shift plus enter and that will give you an output. And once pineapple gives an output, it also brings you another input box to write your code, right? Simple as that. You can even write smallest codes like print hello world and two plus three, or you can even write complex code using matplotlib and numpy pandas, etc. You can, you can even write codes like simple for loops that you see on the screen. And I'm going to press shift enter and you see my loop is ready along with another place to write more Python codes. And it's all happening in your browser with a very simple and the most compact and neat code you will ever see. So this is the power of PyRapple in the PyScript. Let's see what we have in the next video. Thank you.